answer. It's the only way it will end. Who are you? I got him. Yeah. What are you doing here? I'm so to see you. Then get your room up already, sleepyhead. Hover and I have been meeting in secret for the last few weeks. She gets older every day. You were really out back there. You sick or something? Nah, I was just dreaming. Oh, about me? You make me blush. Come on, we gotta get up here to get a good view of the sunrise. No, Hover, not about you. I keep having this dream where my leg is healed, I'm in this jungle, <laughs> and there's always this strange white lion in there. Is he handsome? It's not that kind of dream, Hover. Anyway, I'm just starting to wonder what it all means. Easy. Dreams don't mean anything. I've had this one since my injury. It has to mean something, doesn't it? I dream about my teeth falling out. All it means is I'd look really grody without teeth. Because you like me. I do like you. So, how are you outside of weird dreams? <sighs> Sharp tongues getting sicker. I miss fire. Quickmane's brat won't leave me alone. <laughs> Feather? But he's so cute. You've never had to babysit him. You don't get a say. <laughs> Typical bride lioness. Ignoring the insights of their prideless sisters. The plight of my people continues. Hover? <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you ever think about leaving prideless life behind? Not usually, no. Why? Well, Sharp Tongue isn't able to hunt anymore, and I was thinking maybe I'd ask Mother if you could take her place in the Pride. If that's something you'd like. You want me to join your Pride? Is that so strange? To me, yes, it is. Very strange. You know how I feel about Prides. So what, you just want to meet in secret forever? Look, nothing, I like spending time with you. I really do. But that's asking a lot. You must say that. You're right, I'm stupid. Oh, come on, nothing, wait up. I never said it was stupid. I have to get back to the prime. See you later, Hover. near the outer rim of the territory. I'll be doing extra perimeter checks for the next few days to make sure none of them breach our border. Next order of business. A large herd of wildebeest has stopped in our hunting ground to graze. Silent Stork investigated last night. The herd is more elder members than young, so I suggest we tell you... <coughs> Mother? Are you all right? Apologize for the interruption, Miss Chief. Please continue. Hmm. Right. Um, I'd like Farleep to take the lead. Water Hunter and Silent Stalk flanking, and myself at the rear. Nothing. You remain here to look after the cubs. Mother, you too. Move out, Huntresses. Scratched up my 
dad's face again? No, Feather. I got in a lot of trouble for telling you that story the first time. But it was so cool. You were so small. And he was so big. And you went all crap. And he was like, ah, my eye. You're so weird, Feather. Yeah, Feather. Dad said nothing got possessed by a demon or something. It was really serious. No offense. I think it was great. If a nobody tried to hurt me, I could do the same thing. Rah! If you want a real storyteller, you could ask Shark Tongue. I've heard all of her stories. Have I ever told you about Sansa's great fires in the Emerald Valley? No. What's that? Isn't Sansa the sun goddess? <laughs> she is. Once she was so enraged, she raised the earth, dried the rivers, and burned trees. What? She did? Nobody's ever told me this part. I haven't heard this one either. Suns would have burned everything if it hadn't been for cancer. Who brewed storms to save us all? But cancer... <laughs> Rest for another. Find the shifting place where Sansa's eyes blind. You can end the cycle, nothing. so she may find our beloved sharp tongue in the dark.
do you want? I have someone I want you to meet. <clears throat> I wish to join your pride. Linus's abilities, nothing? Very much so. We've needed help in the hunts since Sharpton fell ill. I kept hoping she'd recover. But now... I'll miss her too, Mother. Don't touch me! I don't want you, beauty! You may join the Pride if you perform a successful Huntress evaluation and take a Pride name. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I won't disappoint you. See that you don't. We'll perform the ceremony under the highest eye of Suns tomorrow. There. You got what you wanted. Now let her rest. Listen. Mm-hmm. 